Previously on Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. I don't believe that Hunter's a very great class to do in the arena. He's got nothing on the board, and if he does throw out something pretty tough, I can most likely deal with it. Just insult him even more. Oh, mind control is buzzard. Sorry, buddy. Well played. That's just sometimes how it happens. Hey guys, what's up? This is Lord of War 35, and today we're going to be playing some more Hearthstone. So we're going to head up into the arena, and, uh, yes, that last win is still feeling good. The game loves me. I'm time, it's time to get into another one. And, yeah, it's, it's going to be great. I just know it. Um, yeah, right-click your new hero to emote. Okay, thank you, game, for your helpful tips. Yeah, I always find that it's best if you take like a 15 10 minute break in between each of your games you know kind of <clears throat> have some time to reflect on what you did wrong and what you did right it also helps you cool down if you got a bad loss and it also helps you to you know kind of not think that you're unbeatable because you won the last game um we'll get rid of the worgen since we already have an accolade of pain We'll keep the thought steel because paladins could have nice buffs, and we get a torn warrior instead of it. That's fine. Um, I like taunts. Taunts are good. Um, so on turn two, I think we'll coin the torn warrior, and then put out the master swordsmith. Um, it all depends, I guess, on what he does. Um, we'll, gr we'll greet him. So our opponent here is Zell, and he is a paladin, gotta break those vines, and he throws out a secret, a one cost secret. I don't know of any one cost secrets. Ugh. Hmm. Is it an eye for an eye? Is that one cost? I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, I did coin that Master Swordsmith because he didn't put anything on the board. Which is fine. So we've got a light spawn now, and we'll throw out this kobold. Get him to a three. Let's see if it's an eye for an eye. I think that's what it is. Oh no, it's Noble Sacrifice. Which means my Master Swordsmith is going to be dead next turn. Possibly. Yeah, I didn't... I don't really know the Paladin class very well. I probably should have looked it up. And I would have looked it up if I wasn't recording, but... I'm not going to blame you guys for that one. So let's see what he throws out on turn 3. Hopefully, nothing. And my hope is that he takes out that guy... And he doesn't. So that kind of sucks for me. And he throws out a taunt. In fact, the very same taunt that I was just about to throw out. So I will. And I will kill his taunt. And he will kill my taunt, and we'll all be happy. And then I'll throw out a 5-5 five, five light, light spawn and see how he handles it. Oh, he killed my taunt that way. What a jerk. Nice little hammer of wrath. Get some three damage. Get some monster on the field. Now I could Acolyte of Pain, which I will do, and uh, then I will throw down my Priestess, give him some bonus health so that he does not immediately get murdered by the Fairy Dragon. And then the hope is he can get me two cards. And that would be, he'd be well worth it if he gives me two cards. And I think he will, because what he's going to do is he's going to hit the Acolyte of Pain with that, and then ram his Fairy Dragon into it. Otherwise, he's going to hit my Young Priestess with that, and then hit me in the face with this Fairy Dragon. So it's really, what's he going to do? It looks like he's going to go with the hit me in the face method. Yes. 
Alright, fair enough. One more Shire Cleric it. Hit him with the light spawn. Do that for card draw. Mind Blast. Alright, so now I got a 1-3, one, a 1-3, one, and a 5-5 five, five out on the field. He's got a Lights Justice, um, which isn't going to help him out too much in this situation. Now, I can hit that Leper Gnome, heal this guy up for tons of card draw, and then Face Blast them with this, and Thought Steal him. So that's my plan next time, depending on what he does. Okay, so he's going to give me a card with the Accolade. I draw a Holy Nova, which is going to help me out so much. And he does that. And he's, then he's going to... Oh yeah, I took two damage from the Leopard Gnome. I was a little bit confused there for a second. Now what's he going to do? What you got up in that hand? I'm going to steal two out of your three cards. I'm going to steal both of your cards. That's actually good. That's fantastic. Because then... Okay, so... What do we got here? We got a situation where we... What do we do? I think regardless, I'm going to Thought Steal. Because I don't want a Holy Nova. So, I know that his two cards are Give a Minion Divine Shield. Oh man, that's good. That's really good. Sorry, buddy, but uh, your Yeti's dead for dead for now. What you got? What you got, Paladin? I know that you've got a Silver Hand Knight that you can drop and give it a Divine Shield at the same time. I have a feeling that he's gonna either Divine Shield this. Okay, so I'm I'm guessing that's an eye for an eye. Draw a card until you have as many. That's a good card. What is that? Divine Favor. Draw cards until you have as many as your opponent. Alright, that's... That's a good card. I gotta make note of that. So now I think the smart thing for him to do would be to hit me with his Fairy Dragon. And although he loses it... Um... Okay. He... Okay. He's not gonna do that. That is perfectly fine by me. Um... I, that's Holy Nova, I can afford to lose one. Yes, I forgot. I forgot about that. That silly, silly thing. Good thing I didn't mind blast him first. <laughs> Doing some damage. Taking names. Alright, next time we've got uh, Harvest Golem and Silverhand Knight. Otherwise we can Thought Steal and Silverhand Knight. We've got another Holy Nova in hand, so if he, dump, if he dumps his hand, I can uh, do some damage with that. And I've still got a 5-5 five five on the field. He's got Taunt and Divine Shield. Alright. That's a good play. And he continues to mindlessly hit me in the base. Next turn, once he dumps more of his hand, I'm going to Holy Nova, and then hit him with the white spot, depending on what he does. I think he's going to go for the face again, because I don't know, that seems like his plan, it's not really a good one. But next turn, I Holy Nova and Thought Steal, especially if he dumps his hand, I can get the rest of it, I can get the rest of his hand. It'd be great if he pull, put his Silver Hand Knight out, and um, maybe another 4 cost. Okay, he consecrates the field, which I'm fine with. He only took out one of my dudes. Now he takes out the Harvest Golem. And he throws out True Silver, which he's probably going to hit me in the face with. No, he's not. Okay. Now what do you do? Alright, that's, that's a good play. I think what I do here is throw out Strangle. 
then I thought steal him. Actually, I thought steal him, see what he's got first, then uh. So he's got Light's Justice, <laughs> and he's got a Karen Blood Hoof in his hand. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I throw up a 5-5. Five, five. And I'll throw out Light's Justice for, just for the fun of it. So we'll see what he's got up his sleeve. Is he going to throw his Cairn out? I'd be fine with it if he did. The 4-5, I can uh, Holy Nova take it out. Costs one less per attack of your weapon, so he gets a free Dread Corsair out there. Oh, geez, that's scary. This is an arena deck, and he's got two legendaries. Oh, jeez, this is... GG. Oh, he gets unlucky. It's not really unlucky. Because I'm going to die. Regardless. This is not looking good. How does he pull two legendaries? And he gives Ragnaros another divine shield. Hits me for eight. Interesting. Ragnaros, Ragnaros. <laughs> what has he got out on the field? He's got five damage out on the field, doesn't he? Oh, mind control tech, what are you doing? That's best play I've had uh, but I'm still dead no I'm not dead I'm really not dead yet I'm dead assuming that he attacks his face normally I want him to attack the face but he's got four targets out there and one of them, if he kills that dude, I'll be set. I'll have one health left. <sighs> Ragnaros, you better, don't fail me now. <gasps> no way! If I win this... Ragnaros, don't fail me now. This game is on your shoulders. He can do four damage. He can do four damage. Oh, he... That was a huge mistake. That was... Okay. There is an extreme amount of luck involved in this one. So, if I hit him... With three, that will bring him down to nine, and then I hit him with eight. That means I should storm pike him to do less targets. Yes, I have to. All right, so I storm pike him, less targets. I hit him. I go like this. Ragnaros, there's a one in four chance for me to win. And this. This better be it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it for me. This is the moment. No! Oh, no. Oh, Ragnaros, you failed me.
You failed me, Rag. No. <laughs> Ugh. There was a chance. There was such a chance. One and four. Ragnaros, you, you almost you almost worked in my favor every single time you shot. It was just the last one. You had to finish it. <laughs> well, it's a devastating one. Ah, I almost beat him with his own Ragnaros. Just imagine how awesome that would have been. Three and one. Ah. I wonder what happened to his Cairn. How did I thought I'd steal a Cairn Blood Hoof? He doesn't have any, didn't even have one in his hand. That's strange. Well, anyways, guys, that's a, that's a heartbreaking defeat there. Not gonna lie, but, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Leave a like if you liked, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys next time.